Why did Google shut down AppMaker? For anyone that hasn't heard, Google announced the shutdown of AppMaker. D-Day for this is January 19th, 2021. So you should definitely have a migration plan ready to roll. If you need help with one of those, please drop us a line in the comments or reach out to us on appmakeruniversity.com. There'll be a link in the description. To migrate your application, Google recommends three options for you to try. You can move form-based applications to Google Forms. Uh, you can also rebase your entire user interface and backend into Google App Engine, which is an auto-scaling environment for custom code deployments. Or, if you want to migrate your app to another no-code platform, Google's new tool, AppSheet, will be your best bet. So, question is, why did Google make this move? I can think of a couple reasons. One, while user interest for AppMaker was promising, many business users struggled to make effective applications. Because AppMaker was a truly low-code tool, anyone wanting to build a dynamic application needed to be able to understand and configure database queries, data bindings, and write a fair amount of JavaScript to achieve their vision. While this did allow programmers to put together some very feature-rich applications quickly, business users were still left looking for a suitable solution. Thirdly, I think another major factor was cloud provider connectivity. AppMaker was deeply seated in the G Suite and G Cloud environments, so your users had to authenticate via Google OAuth and your data had to be stored in Google Cloud SQL databases. Um, and many companies have data or employee authentication in another system like Microsoft, Salesforce, Box, or AWS, or any mix of the, uh, those solutions. So you'd have to go through complex workarounds to even let your employees get access to the apps and data sets. So Google wanted to support these users by enabling them to access all of these cloud providers. While these reasons are valid, they don't seem to warrant the complete shutdown of a widely used tool. Perhaps Google had other reasons. Maybe AppMaker was built on a technology that Google is no longer going to support. I don't know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop them in the comments below. Now, even though AppMaker is no more, here at AppMaker University, we are still working to empower citizen developers. We'll be producing content around AppSheet and other no-code tools so you can continue to turn your ideas into reality. We look forward to learning with you.